Hey guys, this is Aresh and today I'm back with a new video. For this video, I mean the project, you're gonna need to have a Node MCU board. So, uh, to make this board compatible with your PC, so you need to install a driver named CP2102. So, I'm just installing that driver onto my PC. Now, just open the Node MCU flasher. The download link is in the description. So here it is our node mcu flasher file I mean ap application so now you have to just connect your board to your PC you will see a port change from COM1 to COM4 now you have to just select .bin files that you have already downloaded the link is in the description and then you have to just click flash button to just start flashing and during the flash process you'll see your LED blinking on your board so please make sure that it is blinking after the process get done you have to just disconnect and connect your board to power back again and uh, you'll see a new SSID in your Wi-Fi network you have to just connect the password will be uh, the D author in small characters so like it is shown here and after that you need to open a browser and enter the URL dauth.me and you will be redirected to a page I mean the agreement page you have to just agree that node is a verb and uh, you will see a different Wi-Fi networks I mean the networks available nearby to me and it, this is SSID tab in which you can put different names as of SSID up to 60 it has it has limit of 60 SSIDs and this is attack tab in which you can just basically start attacks these are attacks there is the or this is beacon and this is probe i've just started the beacon in which you can just see different wi-fi networks available it just basically fake a wi-fi network if you want to i mean create multiple ssids available if you scan your wi-fi network so this is the auth attack i've just selected a one target and just i'm starting this process i mean the attack so my phone got disconnected as you can see now this is setting tab and uh, you'll see a different options in which um, most you know interactive and uh, useful thing I've seen is the hidden and uh, this is display option which enables display interface and uh, if you want to just reboot your a board or reset or why turn, turn it off then you have to just select it and thanks for watching for more projects on node mcu please subscribe